Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and I have a Book and Paper Arts studio in Swansea in Wales where I live. Today I'm starting an occasional series called What's New in the Studio, and I'm just going to show and tell some of the new old things that I have found in the last couple of weeks, or sometimes I think they have found me. Not a tutorial today, just some eye candy, some vintage book and paper eye candy for your weekend. Nothing wrong with that. The first thing I have is this. This is a handmade maths book. You can see it says multiplication. That's all handwritten and hand flourished. You can see it's got some uh, damage from mildew back in the day. It's, it's dead now, but it did leave that mark, which is the one of the reasons that I have permission to keep this book and not even worry about whether I want to sell it or not. It's mine. And it just has these beautiful, handwritten, calligraphed math tables. And I collect a lot of handwritten books. This is the first one I've ever seen like this. It's really nice. Speaking of handwritten, I have a few ledgers that came my way this week. Let's see, this one has a little bit of a leather binding and it has a brass clasp. I love books with little clasps and closures like that. The first entry is from 1854 and you can just see how pretty the handwriting is. And it's just accounts, money's owed and paid, brought forward, interest, a um, little bit like that. Got some water damage here, but I actually kind of like that because it tells part of a, a little bit of a story or a mystery. Was this book in a shipwreck? Probably not, but something happened. Here is another, another ledger. This one has some marble papers, and its first entry is from 1899. It's actually pretty interesting because this is more about uh, groceries and shopping. So even though it's just a list of what people ordered or bought shopping, it gives a little insight into the day-to-day -day life and uh, feels very much like what Jane Austen might have ordered. Uh, Lemons, biscuits, currants, morning suit, packet safety matches, corn flour, seven and one quarter pound cheddar, soda, haberdashery, don't forget your haberdashery, cinnamon, tapioca, ribbon, tea, lots of tea. And this one's a little bit bigger and a little bit older. Its first entry is from 1834. It's also just accounts. So not very exciting, but beautiful old handwriting that is a pleasure to see. This is really a treasure. I just gasped when I saw it. It's, uh, it's a little common book of prayer in Welsh. It's got this leather tooling. And again, brass trim and a brass clasp. It's from 1875. And you can see it's all in Welsh, which I do not read. But it's, it's again, it's mysterious and fascinating and just so charming. And a beautiful little book. Finally, I want to show you these prints that came from a larger Welsh Bible at one time. The prints are from 1852. And they're steel engravings, which I have a real thing about steel engravings. 
you can actually see the where the pen, the steel pen worked in there. I'm going to be offering free high res scans of these engravings. And they're coming via my newsletter, which comes out this coming Sunday. So if you subscribe to that, and you can do that in the text below, you'll get a newsletter Sunday morning and you'll have access to these scans. Again, they're free, and then you can just print them up and use them in your own work or in your digital work. So if you want to see more photos or information about these uh, pieces, there's a link to my online shop below. Please subscribe to my channel if you like book arts, and journal arts, and old paper. And until soon and next time, I hope you have a creative weekend.